Big Mac is 0-2 versus Dan, so this is his chance. And yeah, you, you guys are good. Yeah. Big Mac is Sheik that likes to kill with up airs. Dan, the Pokemon normal type gym leader. You can follow him in real life at Just Dan. Just Dan. Does I actually, does Dan have a Twitter? I have no idea. Probably not. That would require him to be more than normal type. No, he does. It's uh, SSP Dan. Oh. You know. So nice, nice and, uh, nice and clever and unique. <laughs> All right, Big Mac is starting this off really, really strong. Yeah, Big Mac is just, he's playing very well today. Um, think about the players he's beaten today. He's had one of the tougher runs, and he's he's gotten top three today, guaranteed. I know, I know Big Mac was looking to solidify his uh, time, like his spot in top ten, because he's the, he's the freshest face in top ten. Everybody else has been there already. Yeah, and um, part of it being, like, people will talk about Big Mac and, like, you know, he's good, but how good is he? And he'll, he'll make mistakes sometimes, like he'll just randomly suicide. But his he'll skill press level... He'll offstage. Yo, good read. That read, though. He is playing... He's having some of the best play he's had in a really long time. He wow. made top 8 at E2C20. E2 he made top 8 at Kings of the North. He has seven arrived. at both. He has arrived. Yeah, and now he's uh he's over here. I know he, he said he usually doesn't play well at weeklies, but... Maybe this weekly. I think he tries things at weekly. Is part of it. Like, yeah. You I, saw him go for that down B, and it was a sweet read. And we we said like that's a sweet read. He doesn't go for many down B kills. He just does that. That's a stock. We're just gonna go down throw and to confirm you. Get out of my Smackville. <laughs> for a second, I thought he was about to jump in, and I was like, please don't be a hero. A hero versus ally. I'm having flashbacks. <laughs> No, Big Mac is legit, yo. And yeah, he's a very good player. And I think, uh, for reference, he's outplaced a GG, one of the GGA Elite Four. And I think every single tournament he's been to recently. I hate that they're named that. The GGA Elite oh Four? Oh my god, because it's it's so perfect that it's an, it's <laughs> enraging. You know what I mean? Like, everyone knows that, like, you want to be the main protagonist, you got to beat the whole Elite Four in one tournament. Right? They're, All in one go. No like, breaks. It means they're the bad guys. You, yeah, you cannot go to a Pokemon Center and heal. You must beat them all in a row. I mean, that's pretty much what he's had to do. He beat Knight, he beat JJ, and now he's got to play Dan, and if he wins... Um, yeah, then he plays, then he plays Demitis. champion Demitis, apparently. <laughs> I mean, technically, the champion's Akira, but he's not here right now. Maybe he'll just bust through the doors and just, like... A new challenger has approached. <laughs> and Professor Oak out of nowhere. I came when I heard you beat the Elite Four. <laughs> uh, Big Mac right there was looking for the... Uh, that's one of Big Mac's favorite ways to kill, actually. Just people don't do it anymore because good players jump. Uh, it's, uh, he'll, he'll, he'll going for more dunks here. He'll, he'll down throw and then he'll empty hop and uh, look for the up smash. Uh, but if, if you air dodge, it's true. If you uh, like a kill percentage for the up smash. But most players... The, the Chicago meta... Oh, the spike. That was really well timed from Dan. Yeah, I mean, basically Big Mac should have vanished onto ledge, and he just went to natural jump into ledge from a bad angle. Mm -hmm. It's not even really a misplay. It's just a good good option from Dan to be like, no, you can't do that. You better vanish back on the stage next time. All right, don't die at Agatha here, yo. You're halfway there. <laughs> Did you see Sheldon's post about that? What? The roaming legendaries? Yeah. Shell, JT Wild, and Dicey. <laughs> Dicey, though. Actually, though. I miss Dicey. All right. Well, Big Mac was playing super strongly that game. Just Dan, towards the end, just sealed it out. Again, that, that comeback factor for Mario. She, it's one of those things. I was talking to Anti over the weekend because like, I housed him after E2C20. And uh, one of the things that he kept bringing up was, or that we, when we were talking about matchups and whatnot, uh, is he kept bringing up that he thinks Mario is one of the best characters to fight against Sheik. Because um, Mario, if he buffers down air out of down throw, uh, will actually uh, hit Sheik as she tries to vanish, like just mash down air. And it will actually kill Sheik off the top. So you really? Don't you don't have to play the 50-50. You know that he has to go for up air. So you keep doing that until up air won't kill, until up air will kill. Um, and then, or uh, until past like upper kill percentage or whatever, and then, uh, and then after that you start jumping. Yo, catches him Good with the vanish. D. Good DI though. Yeah, Big Mac. He does have a tendency to when he will go for the vanish kill. Guaranteed, the next time he will go for the up air. Yeah, he doesn't go for vanish often. Yo, catches him with the up air. Like, like, like I kill. said, good players jump. Yeah. That's <laughs> we were playing friendlies with Nicole from St. Louis. Shout out to St. Louis, by the way. Uh, Always. 
I'm streaming their tournament uh, the 27th of December, so definitely check that out. Well, maybe. It depends on the internet. If uh, it's bad internet, then we'll just blow for report and have the mods up that night. But, anyways, um, she, she, all she talks about when like anyone goes for 50-50 is just like good player jump. Yeah, that's true. Uh, she talks about good players jump, and she talks about Villager will always get three turnips when he needs it. <laughs> so now, uh, similar situation from last game, in that Big Mac has the lead, but sometimes it, it feels like he's trying to play a little too safe when he has the lead. Yeah, I mean, you are still Sheik. You're the best character with the best frame data in the game. Don't be afraid of Mario just because he has the potential to do bad things to you, because you are winning. And he's doing that a little bit more now. Yeah. Although, he does get kill switched right there, but he, he did get 54% of extra there. credit. I think he wanted it straight off the ground, and he did it a little too high, which gave Dan just like, oh, hey, you're trying to check my hat out? Let me show it to you. Now he's just got to avoid getting grabbed, pretty much. Um, it's going to take Mario a while against the Sheik, if he doesn't grab him, to catch up at percent. Interesting option with the back throw there. Like, he gave he gave up stage control in the back throw and didn't actually get anything. Yo, good input on that back air. Yeah. To put Dan over 100%. Bouncing fish, man. It, it can frame trap along with forward air if they, uh, if they air dodge early. Good forward tilt into up air. If he had any more rage, that may have killed. Yeah. Big Mac's neutral, man. It's looking really, really Dan's, strong. Dan has been throwing out less back airs than normal this game. Like, as I say that, he throws out two in a row. But, like, he usually, like, he'll full hop and throw out a pair of back throws. Or, I'm sorry, back airs. And just, like... Mario's floatiness through back air gives him so much range. All right, that'll be it. Yeah, he, he hesitated for a second to make Dan think that he wouldn't be, because that wasn't a true. Like, he didn't jump immediately. And Dan didn't air dodge or jump. Sometimes it's true. That might have been a, one of those scenarios where it was true. No, he, he hesitated on ground. Dan probably thought he was going to go for the the vanish and waited for the air dodge and just sometimes you, you just get him like Sheik is a good enough character to where you can just be like I'm gonna throw this out there because I am a good enough character to randomly kill you and if I don't I can just land all right we're going to lilac cruise the most neutral stage the most neutral because everyone hates it equally except Jiggly Bob. I this is this is like my least favorite stage in every character I play this is my favorite stage with every character I play even Luigi like I don't care this stage is awesome I used, I used to like it as Rosalina, but... Did you, I, see, did you see Dan just jump off the platform? Like, the very little edge of the platform? Yeah, that was cool. Alright, here we go. Up tilt, yeah, up tilt, up tilt. Well. Good use of bounce, like, jump and just bounce because she's like, nah, yeah. Dan knows the stage well. Does the ship tilting mess with Mario's, like, tilting? <laughs> Uh, it might. If it's tilting up as he's comboing you. Triple up tilt into Bouncing Fish. Why not? Oh, Almost just missed it. the, what is that, the Void Combo? Is that what that's called? No, that's, Void Combo is up tilt to Rising Needles to Forward Air to Bouncing Fish. Okay, you have to do all four for it to be the that Void Combo? That is the Void Combo. Okay. Just Needles to Bouncing Fish has been, a, it's been a thing for a, a long time. Okay, so, um, Big Mac taking the first stock, um, with a clean up air. How many kills has he had with not up air? Not many. I don't think any. Occasionally up smash. Oh! Dunked! <laughs> Dunk Red Lord! The and Big Mac just has a smile on his You're face. You're going the wrong way. Thank you, Green Beast. We'll give him the shout out. I'm hoping over winter break we can get 10 out of 10 Chicago uh, PR players. That would be gross. That's that's the goal, man. When is the PR getting updated? I have no idea. Like, legitimate question. That should probably happen soon. Because, like, no there are players who could be in top 10 right now based on standing. Events to Compete was doing it, but they haven't, like, said anything about it at all recently. And the, the last system, I know a lot of people didn't like the way it was set up because there was some kind of questionable, like, placing based on just, like, three tournaments. Yeah. So, um, so I We don't might know. just want to get a panel together of That's, all of the TOs and just talk about it. Like Honestly, well, I, I wouldn't even... Some TOs, some players... Yeah. Uh, I'd like to do a panel top 25 this time, personally. But anyways, into this match, because we have an even game, and he fell into the up smash! Ooh! And Big he, Mac over at there, it. like, look at, what, look at what an idiot I was. Yeah, he knows what he did. Sometimes you just get kill switch, and Dan is just stone-faced, like, nope, normal type. <laughs> I'm gonna throw Two out. One. So Big Mac's tournament line, uh, this is this could be last game for him. He's gotta, he's gotta step his play up. He, he plays so well, and then makes, like, three mistakes, and Dan just Dan's punish game is so tight 
He just makes it happen. All right, well, Dan leads two games to one. Um, Big Mac has led in all three of these games. So Dan is not afraid of playing from behind. All right, so starting off, like, just playing that really, really safe neutral, both players. Dan just kind of standing there, Big Mac choosing to opt for the uh, jumping forward air. Just like, hey, you have to come in here at some point. Mario does so much damage. <laughs> Mario and Luigi both. Yeah. Super priority brothers. I mean, look at that. 70. Immediately at 70. Like, you cannot mess up. If you mess up, you have to be make sure that it's for, like, a back air or make sure that it's for something minor. Good if read you mess, with Fs, man. If you mess up at low percentages and you mess up into grab range for Mario, like, GG. Yeah, he, he time, will kill Time you. to play catch up, boys. Catch up, boys. Catch up, boys. Yo. Dan. Dan just, he's not having it. Dan's like, nah, eat this fireball. You like ketchup? I got that hot level sauce. Six, level 63 Gengar, go! <laughs> Pokemon profile picture month this month, though. Yo, dog, what'd you put? Uh, Ms. Magius. That's a good one. Dude, that's like my favorite Pokemon ever. I got the homie. Far-fetched. <laughs> the, yo, up air, up air, up B. Town and city, that almost killed. So, Demitus put a Palucha, and I'm super upset because I hate that Pokemon because it stole what Farfetch'd evolution should have been. Was fighting flying. It would have made all the sense. <laughs> and Pokemon just ruined that. For me, for everyone. Alright, back to this match. Uh, both characters have been trading for about 30%. Uh, Big Mac with the up air, not quite gonna kill. Uh, good DI by Dan. Now Dan just like hits a smash. That's it. Yep, there it is. A two -stop. Forward smash and we out. Uh, Big Mac makes it through half of the Elite Four. Still very good showing, finishes in third place. Yo, he, need, he needs some super potions, some max revives. <laughs> yeah, full restores, <laughs> about 30.